Suppose you run five miles each day. Graph the relationship between the number of days past x and the number of miles you ran y. Find the slope of the line and explain what it represents. Okay, so here they gave a, they went back to the traditional x input and y output. So you run five miles each day. So it's going to be y, the number of miles, equals five times the number of days. Find the slope of the line and explain what it represents. So the slope of the line here is... I'm going to create the graph, 0, 1, 2. So if I ran 0 days, um, I have 0 miles. Um, if I ran 1 day, I have 5 miles. If I ran 2 days, I've gone up to 10 miles. So let's find the slope. I'm going to use these two as my coordinates, 1, 5, and 2, 5, oop, 2, 10. And remember, your equation for slope is y equals, or m, m represents slope, equals change in y, um, rise over change in x, run. x1, y1, x2, y2. So 10 minus 5 over 2 minus 1. 10 minus 5 is 5, and 2 minus 1 is 1. And that slope simplifies to 5. Notice over here, as a reminder, I labeled the coordinates. Um, it's good to do that because one of the most common mistakes that people make is just by inputting the coordinates into the wrong place in the equation. So just in the beginning to make sure that you always label. You can keep the, track of that. And lastly, they said they wanted us to find the slope, which we did, 5, and explain what it represents. This 5 represents the direct variation between the number of days and the total miles run. Because the slope, 5, represents the unit. So for one day, it's 5 miles. And it increases at a constant rate of 5 miles for every additional day. So the slope of the line here represents the direct variation, or also the unit. Thank you for watching Educator.com.